This video explains how to calculate the standard deviation in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In the first example of this tutorial, I will show you how to calculate the standard deviation of a list object. And for this, we first have to create an example list, as you can see in the first line of code. So in this line of code, I'm creating a list object called my list. And then I'm also printing this list below the code box using the print function. So as you can see, we have created a list object called my list, which contains different numbers. Now, if we want to calculate the standard deviation of this list object, we also need to import the NumPy library, as you can see in the second code box. And then in the next step, we can use the std function of the NumPy library to calculate the standard deviation of our list. So in order to do that, we only need to specify the list object that we have created before within the std function. And then I'm also using the print function to print the output of the std function below the code box. So as you can see, the standard deviation of our list object is equal to 2.742. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the standard deviation of a list object. However, it's also possible to calculate the standard deviation of the columns in a pandas data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in the fourth code box. So as a first step, we need to import the pandas library. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see here, using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is created. And once again, we can use the print function to print the content of our data object below the code box. So as you can see below this box, our data frame contains 16 rows and the four columns x1, x2, x3 and group. The columns x1, x2 and x3 contain numeric values and the fourth column is a group indicator. Now, let's assume that we want to calculate the standard deviation of only one of the columns, more precisely of the column x1. And then we can apply the code that you can see in the sixth code box. So in order to calculate the standard deviation of the column x1, we first need to subset our data frame using square brackets and the name of our column. And then we can apply the std function to this subset to calculate the standard deviation of this column. So as you can see below this line of code, the standard deviation of the column x1 is equal to 9.52. It's also possible to calculate the standard deviation for all of the numeric columns in our data set. So in order to do that, we once again have to use the std function. However, this time we have to specify the numeric only argument within the std function to be equal to true. And we need to apply this function to the entire data set. So after running this line of code, another output is returned, which shows the standard deviation of all the three numeric columns, x1, x2, and x3. We can also calculate the standard deviation for the rows of our data frame, as you can see in the next example. So in order to do that, we once again need to apply the std function to our entire data set. And within this function, we need to specify the axis argument to be equal to 1. And once again, we also need to specify the numeric only argument to be equal to true. So after running this line of code, another output is returned and this output is showing the standard deviations for each of the rows in our data set. In the last example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to calculate the standard deviation by group. And we can do that using the group by function. And within the group by function, we need to specify the group indicator in our data set. So in this case, the column group is containing our grouping values. And then we need to apply the std function to this output. So after running this line of code, another output is returned below the code box. And as you can see, this output shows the standard deviations for each of the columns in our data set and for each of our groups. 
So for instance, the standard deviation of the group A in the column X1 is equal to 9.574. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.